Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go book shopping. All right, so I am filming this intro after the fact I've already gone to book shopping and I am now back home filming the outro as well as the intro as well. So I just had to run some errands in town for the day and I decided to do some book shopping as well. And I, and I kind of wanted it to just be like a very chill and easy vlog where it was just like book shopping set to music, like not a lot of talking. So I don't think I talk at all in the video actually. So yeah, I just had a very casual chill kind of shopping day where I went to a couple used bookstores, I think. I went to two used bookstores. One of them was like a thrift store where I like to go to like Value Village and look at their used books. And then I got some coffee. I listened to an audiobook. I went to a Barnes and Noble, just kind of like a very fun chill day. So that is what you are going to see. And let's get into the video. <laughs>
just saw that was my very casual chill come shopping with me vlog so now I am back home filming the outro and just going to share the books that I picked up today. So first up I did end up listening to two audiobooks in the car well one of them I finished and the other one I started so first up I was listening to Salt to the Sea. I always want to say like Salt of the Sea but I think it's Salt to the Sea by I believe Ruta Cepedes. Hopefully that's how you say the author's name. That book is historical fiction. I know it was a pick for Tori from Novel Life's her Patreon. She's doing like a historical fiction book club and this was the pick for I think April and so I listened to it and I didn't like it. I ended up giving it two stars. This was my first time reading this author and I thought I was going to enjoy it but I just really didn't. I don't really enjoy World War II historical fictions. This one in particular it felt very young as well. Like I think it's like young adult historical fiction which I don't know I guess that's a thing but I just had a hard time with the story and the characters it just felt very chaotic and a lot happening where I didn't ever really connect to any of the characters or the story so it was just like a miss for me I don't think her writing style is going to be for me so yeah two stars for that one I did grab the audio from Libby though through my library so I ended up returning that one and then I jumped into I decided to do a reread of Falls Boys by Penelope Douglas since the second book in the Hellbent series is coming out later this month I think like next week or the week after it's going to be Pirate Girls I am so excited for that book and so I wanted to do like a reread. I've just been like rereading <laughs> Penelope Douglas books in general for the past couple weeks and they're just like a good time and a fun time so I love just rereading them and being back in the world like I did Boldy at the beginning of the month which is the first book in the Fall Away series and I love that series so so much and so it was so fun to be back with those kind of OG couples which all the couples from that OG series are the parents now of this second generation the Hellbent series so it's super fun to see the parent stories again and then get geared up for their children's books so yeah jumped into a reread of that one. All right and then for the two books that I ended up picking up so we kind of just went with the theme of me wearing pink and getting pink books today. It's a thing. So first up I got this one which is The Silver Link by Patricia Potter. So this one I got at Value Village. So here is this gorgeous cover obsessed with like the pinkish metallic font on there as well as these like Harlequin historicals with that little like lace detail. I collect these covers and so I had to have it. Absolutely love this. And then the back as well has art too. This one says it's set in New Mexico in 1846. So yeah I just loved like little scenes on here with the dancing. I believe it says the heroine is Spanish. So yeah, intriguing, interesting. Not sure if I'll read it. I just love collecting these covers. I think they are stunning and gorgeous. I think this is a Pino if I'm correct. I think his name should be on here somewhere. It totally looks like his art style. And actually, yeah, hidden like right under the P right here of the author's name is his signature as well. So yeah, had to grab this one when I saw it, like I said, at Value Village. I think it was like 49 cents because it was like half off on the color sticker that day. So 49 cents, can't beat that. <laughs> and then at Barnes & Noble, I ended up picking Girl Abroad by Elle Kennedy. I absolutely love this one because it's pink and it's so pretty. This is actually the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. I believe the original cover is blue with like some different colorways. So I just loved the pink on here and how cute it looked. This one I've been wanting to read and I love just how like floppy. I just appreciate a floppy book. So yeah, I've been wanting to read this one. It sounds so fun and so cute cute. And I just saw some ooh like text messages and stuff which I love when there's like text combos in books. So this one should be fun. As the title suggests this one of the heroine is studying abroad I believe in London and I'm trying to remember what else it was about. I feel like I knew at one point. Maybe not. Oh is this one where she ends up like living with a bunch of roommates and she falls for one of them? Maybe? Hopefully? All right, so it says she ends up going to London and her father is an overbearing, retired rock star father. She's ready to be free and to discover herself. But first up, she needs to meet the girls that she's rooming with. However, she arrives at her gorgeous new flat to discover that those roommates are actually all boys. Charming, funny, insufferably attractive boys. And off limits with a rule against fraternizing between housemates after unwanted drama with a previous girl. So this one sounds like a lot of fun. So it says Abby has never considered herself a rule breaker, but soon she's lying to her father about her living situation and falling for not one, but two women she can't have her rugby player roommate and a broody musician with a girlfriend. Ooh, is this like a love triangle situation? Kind of here for it. Like I said, I really love the pink and the cover is just giving me like springy vibes. Love the floppiness. Can't wait to read this one. <laughs> so definitely not a very super exciting like book haul day, but like sometimes I just want to go and browse and like be around books. So I don't really want to like bring them all home. Kind of picky about the books that I buy. Like I want to love them and I don't like to take chances on books and buy them before reading them in case I don't always love them. Like the L. Kennedy that is in 
new one that I haven't read but I know that I love that author and so I'm hoping that I'm gonna like that one as well so yeah I don't really buy a lot of books like without trying them first so hopefully that was a fun <laughs> book shopping day but I did also come home to some book mail so I decided to share that in the video as well all right so first up I was sent this from Valentine PR so this is The Professor by Sky Warren so let's see this one it says it's age gap alpha hero billionaire forbidden love Ivy League University secret society teacher student and a virgin heroine and this one just came out in March of this year March 26th so yeah this is the first book in the Tanglewood University series so we shall see if I get to this one I've never read this author before so let me know if you have all right and then this one was book mail for myself so I had to get Glow of the Everflame by Penn Cole I read this whole Kindred Curses saga series last week well I binged the three books that are out currently book four comes out in June and I cannot wait book two is easily my favorite I absolutely was obsessed with it like no notes it was perfection I love it so so much so I had to have this second book which it is a chunky chunky boy so here's this one I think the covers are absolutely stunning for this series as well this one was giving me like Game of Thrones vibes if that makes sense like kind of the whole like political and court and royal intrigue that happens there's a bunch of different houses and kind of the inner workings of all of that as well as a heroine who's kind of learning more about herself kind of discovering the world around her the magic all of those things she's a healer and she's kind of pulled into things but I don't want to give too much away because you definitely need to read this series in order but I loved it the fantasy elements I will say book one was just like okay for me it was solid I gave it like three and a half slash four stars but I was like invested and intrigued enough to continue on and I'm so glad I did because book two like I said no notes perfection I gave this one five stars my only five star read so far for April absolutely absolutely loved it. I did go on to read book three. That one I also gave three and a half slash four stars but like I'm invested and intrigued in the world to get to the fourth book and the final book which comes out in June. So yeah if you haven't read the series definitely a super solid fantasy series. I know it's on Kindle Unlimited. Highly recommend. It's so good. We follow the exact same characters all the way throughout the series so you have to read them in order. It's following one kind of heroine's story. We only get her POV. I will say it's like more new adult fantasy which I was okay with. I enjoyed and the romance though is there but it's a very slow burn and drawn out which honestly I kind of appreciate when it's a series that we're following the same couple like I don't want them together in book one and like see all these kind of like tribulations along the way like I'd rather see them kind of work for it so definitely the case with this one but the romance is so so good the hero ugh, so good <laughs> love this book definitely check it out all right and then I also grabbed older by Jennifer Hartman so she posted on Instagram that the paperback was live early so I decided to grab it this one comes out on Tuesday so it will be out by the time this video is out but I was so excited to have this one I think the cover is stunning it's kind of reminding me of birthday girl by Penelope Douglas as far as like the watery scene and a heroine swimming that just always gives me like birthday girl vibes and I reread that recently so it's kind of on my mind but anyways this one is the newest from Jennifer Hartman I think it's so stinking pretty I love it this one all I know is there's like an age gap where the hero is older and I think it's like forbidden as well because I believe he's her best friend's father maybe something like that I know Jennifer Hartman just delivers on like slow burn and angst and so I am here for it all right and then I also had mail from cover to cover book box which is the Sarah Kate the rest of the Salacious Players Club series so we have Highest Bitter and then Madame which both of these are like I said from her Salacious Players Club series they started doing her series I think like two years ago at this point and then they did more books last year and then they had these add-ons as well to finish up the series so I was like I already have the rest I need to continue on these are hardbacks and they are just so pretty so glad to have them for completing the set on my shelf. All right so that was my kind of mini book haul as well as just like a very casual come shopping with me day. Hopefully you enjoyed. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books that I just mentioned that I picked up. Let me know all the things. If you'd rather leave me an emoji in the comments instead today then let me know that you watched this video and maybe leave me like the shopping bags. I think there's like a pink and yellow shopping bag emoji. Do that since it was like a book shopping day. So if you haven't done so yet make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one.